Man, that is the best revenge I've ever seen in my life. He said, well, if you don't want me, there is plenty of fish in the sea. And that's what men should always do. Move on from the rejection as quick as possible. Don't get yourself attached to a girl you like. If she doesn't fuck with you and you want to be in a relationship with her and she doesn't, move on. Do something else. Nothing is worse than getting stuck in that state of mind when you can't accept her rejecting you. It will eat your energy alive. Move the fuck on. That's what we do. Just leave the man alone. We've probably been through that like a thousand times. Celebs can even enjoy a meal outside their house. That's the price of being famous. I went out on a casual little like get to meet and greet with this dude who we have both canceled on each other multiple times. We go to like a local little bar thing and you know, he orders two drinks, I order one. He's like, let's go eat. I'm like, sounds great. Like, cool, we'll go eat. I asked for the checks and he's like, yeah, the checks. And I'm like, okay. He proceeds to pay with his bill in cash and I pay mine, you know, with my card. We walk out and this man, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not going to go. And he's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, no, not for me. The fuck I look like you got me fucked up. This man then proceeds to call me on my way home as I'm complaining to my homegirl about what a fucking horrible idea this was. And he's like, what was it? And I was like, bro, you know, it's the checks things. And he's like, well, I don't owe you anything. And like, this is not how I wanted to meet. Excuse me. What the f is she all about? I mean, from the start of this, when she said they both cancelled on each other multiple times, that just showed the level of immaturity on both sides. Trying to play hard to get and all that toxic sh And of course, when they both go on a date, something like that's gonna happen. But the self entitlement of her expecting a free meal and all that playing toxic shit happen, I don't know what to say to that. Don't get me wrong, men should always pay on the first date if they ask for it. But when childish shit like this happen, don't expect nothing on both sides. Can I get your number? That's funny man, the cop was like, I don't have no time for this shit. This is this really- Hi, is there someone named Andrew that works there? Andrew? No. Okay, have a nice day. Oh my god, this guy is a savage. I can't imagine how she's feeling right now. She just got to take her L and move on. Same shit happened to me one time when I was doing cold approach and I felt like the dumbest person on earth. Anyway, we move. Now I don't know the backstory of this, but this is man nature. We choose who we want to spend the rest of our life with. Women on the other hand choose the best man that they can get. It's just human nature from the beginning of time. This game is so overrated, but the girl is doing it for fun and not thinking that much of it. I can't remember, but I saw a clip of one girl playing the same game with her friends and they all passed on her and she got really offended and she couldn't handle the rejection. I mean, you're the one who played the game. Don't play the game if you can't take the jokes. Dylan, you're making me nervous. <laughs> I tried to kiss you. Man wasn't even interested in the first place and she's trying so hard to kiss him and he's like not today. Girls have no game man, they just think that if I want a man I'll get a man. But when a man is not interested, they don't accept it. Not everyone you want will want you back. 
and that's okay. We keep moving until we find that one person that wants us as much as we want her. These girls, man, they live this fantasy in their heads. When they like someone and get rejected, they make a TikTok about it, embarrassing themselves. Nothing is wrong with living that fantasy in your own head. Just don't embarrass yourself on social media and make a video about it. I don't know, who am I to say things like this? I'm just giving my point of view. Yo, Jaden! <laughs> Jaden, we're soulmates. How do you know that? Snapchat told me. You, you live right behind me. By saying, they just said, if I'm whoever's behind you. Said my soulmate's right behind me. Now, I have a surprise for you. Can you walk up to your window real quick? I'm at my window. Look out the window. Uh, why? Because now your soulmate's in front of you, so it's not me. Okay. <laughs> As I said, these girls live in a fantasy and make assumption based on a zodiac sign or something they saw on Snapchat. Like, come on, man, we live on Earth. And the guy is definitely a troll. He just removed himself from that fantasy shit as quick as possible. He's like, I don't want none of that nonsense. But yeah, man, keep yourself attached to reality always and look at things the way it is. That will keep you sharp and you have the skill to handle any situation in life. <laughs>